Welcome back. We're going to do a very quick ascension quest here for Kamaravi and Ethel herself. After that, we're going to do loads of side quests, though. Perhaps we should pay a visit to the lab. There might still be something hidden there. Mm, indeed. I mean, that's where we're heading right now, so... Let's see where I'm meant to be going. What is this place? And... Is that a cradle? I remember this room. Anything you want to tell us, Kamaravi? This is where I awoke. Met Miyabi and the others. So that means that cradle is... It is no simple cradle. Fitted inside is a device which matures a life to a state close to homecoming. So Ethel's gonna be Ethel again. That makes sense. So that's what Y used when reviving Mwamba and the others. Who's Mwamba? Kamaravi, is that cradle still usable? The installation works, just barely. Why do you ask such a thing? Uh, Ethel. You're not thinking... Our enemies are supernatural beings. Monsters who use human lives for fodder. You can all fight against them, but me... As I am now, I'm barely able to protect myself. All I can really do is hang back and watch, so as not to be a hindrance. But... Suppose I was to use this cradle... That's a hell of a choice, though. Been like, yeah, I'll give up. More or less like nine and a half years of my life. Ethel, you don't have anything to prove. As far as the choices available to you go, you could also return to the city and live a peaceful life. And yet you're saying you want to throw your body back under war's grindstone and spend your life fighting. But then, you were ever thus. By the time you speak your mind, your body and soul are long ready. I think you should do as you wish. Kamaravi, are you sure it's fine? To embroil her in what's ultimately our fight? Ethel's path should be hers to choose. I'm certain her resolve is firm. It's still a hell of a choice. If she wished for a life of peace, she would not have followed us this far. The way must have been inside her all along. I suppose that's true, yes. But still, I am anxious about the result, same as you. Nevertheless, as a devoted follower of none other but the warrior's way myself, I wish to respect the will and resolve of one who has chosen the same path. I believe Ethel's freedom is hers to do with as she wishes. Thank you, Kamaravi. At the same time, I am of course not in a position to decide such things myself. We have conveyed to you our desire. Would you tell us your opinion in turn? <sighs> well, what should we do? Yeah, let's do it. Better luck then. Huh? 
How are you feeling, Ethel? Older. Oh, never better. I mean that literally. It's as though new strength is welling up inside of me. This way I'll be able to fight by your side too. You have my thanks. Huh. What's wrong, Kamaravi? Silvercoat. Oh. Silvercoat? What does that mean? You're literally wearing a coat that's silver. Can't you put the pieces together? Like, come on. I'm not sure. When I saw you just now, the word simply came to me. As though something was guiding me. What in the world? This sensation. From where did it spring? Kamaravi. I can explain. What we should be thinking about now is the future. What we can achieve in unison, no? Huh. I said I could be your eyes. That has not changed. Just as you showed me the way before, let me now be your guide. You are right. You can see that which I cannot, indeed. I wanted to live life true to myself, but the answer is still not clear. But perhaps by working together with you. Let's search for the answer hand in hand, Kamaravi. With unity between us, nothing can be impossible. Like, you could easily miss that, couldn't you? Just getting those two up to their ascension, up to level 20 and stuff. I hope everyone's getting along. Uh, get a grip on yourself, Belarus. The commander can't be here. I must be seeing things. All the recent late nights are taking the toll on me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just tired is all. But, you know, even if this isn't real, it's a nice feeling seeing her in good health again. So with that out of the way, now we begin our big quest to get all the side quests done before we carry on with the story. There's going to be a lot of editing and jumping points all over the place, I warn you. There's a lot. So, properly speaking, this is the part where I'm supposed to praise the newbie's efforts and bring the exercise to a close. But it looks like they're of the same opinion as me. Mia, Senna, Tyan, and our dear Kavesi allies. Your teaching has made them full-fledged soldiers and unparalleled people. Overcoming the spent antagonism toward former enemies, you sincerely faced each other from the same place and made the right path plain to them. You've burdened yourselves with the concerns of Colony Gamma, Namely, the cultivation of the next generation. Da, 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 da. All of us wish to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. The effect you've had on Gamma will probably spread to other colonies too. The effect may be a drop in the ocean in this world of raging and ceaseless war. But we can all be proud of the ripples that this tiny yet significant step will send out. We hold you in the highest esteem, Ouroboros. It's gonna be weird switching back to Ouroboros when we get back to Trails. Ah, uh, it's a shame that wasn't voiced. Alright, so that's another quest done. In the live battle maneuvers, the newbies went through all they'd learned and became fully fledged soldiers with bright futures ahead of them. We got a question mark up there now, okay. What we got? Uni, 
Do you have a spare moment? Well, if it isn't you sorta, of, what's up? Um, there's something I wanted to ask. You used to be a healer, didn't you? Mm, yeah, I did. I'm a jack of all trades since joining Ouroboros, though. So then, did you know lots of uh, about medicine and treatments and stuff? Uh, I remember shooting people to heal them. Uh, I remember the basics, but I wouldn't say I'm an expert. I know just the minimum amount to be a healer. Why? Do you want to be a healer? Not a healer, exactly. Uh, I promise you won't laugh at me uh, if I tell you. Eh? I want to be a military doctor. Oh. You want to be a military doctor? Mm, I knew it. It's weird, isn't it? No, 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 my bad. That's not what I meant. It's just a little surprising coming from you. Yeah, I know what you mean. Everyone thinks I'm just like Foots and Nagamo. Probably just because I'm in the same team as them. Whenever I mentioned I actually want to be a doctor, Foots just makes fun of me. And Nagamo is so annoying about it. Alright, that sounds tough, love. I've been studying in secret, but there's only so much self-study you can do. Oh, I get it. That's why you came to me for answers. But still, I'm not sure I'd really be much use to you. Sorry, love. No, please, I, I should be the sorry one. Thank you for listening, anyway. Poor Claude. Sora's request. So that's got to be another quest. I hope everyone's getting along. It's weird. It hasn't got a magnifying glass on it. We're done there. We're done. Can we maybe train? No. Can't give a hundred percent all the time, Sinner. Group chat first, right? Hey, Teach. Can I bend your ear? Seems like Yasora wants to be a medical doctor. Oh my, that's the first I've heard of it. Apparently she's been studying by herself, but she's finding it difficult. Isn't there anyone who could teach her? Hmm, I think I may have just the solution. Oh really? We can try and find a special instructor in the field, outside the colony. Ah yes, I've heard of such a system. There's no shame, but all in asking others to fill in when nobody has the experience. Knowledge is power, after all. In this case, we should try and find someone who's also a medical doctor. Try to think if we know any doctors. Maybe old Chandra? Mm, four? Oh yeah, her. I think she might have her hands full with some other work, but there's no harm in asking. I'll accompany you then. I should be there on behalf of Colony Gamma, so that it all goes through the proper channels. Okay, then it's settled. Let's go and see old Chandra. Do 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 do. Oh dear. Do you have an upset stomach? You look pretty healthy to me though. You're right, I'm full of beans. We have something we wanted to ask you about, old Chandra. Ignore her. Delighted to meet you. My name is Teach. Teach? You're from Colony Gamma, right? Forgive me for rudely imposing, but Mio and her friend said I might be able to ask a favor of you. Okay, I understand. You're very enthusiastic about teaching, aren't you, Commander? What do you think? Would you be able to share your experiences and expert techniques with R. Yusora? I totally agree with your principles, and I have nothing against helping you out, even though you are an Agnian colony. Well then, uh, However, if I have to leave the colony grounds, it's a different story. I lead the medic team. I can't leave my post. Yeah, that makes sense. Instead, I can send my teammate May back as a substitute. He's not the most experienced of us, but he knows what it takes to be a military doctor. Would that be okay? Yes, I have absolute faith in your recommendation. I'd be very grateful for your support. Thank you, Alessandra. You've been a great help. It's no problem. We are all indebted to you, after all. I'll go and talk to Maybach. You're free to come along. I won't. I'll stay here. Oh, fine. Guess I'll go.
So, with all that said, I'd like you to take a trip to Colony Gamma. You got it, Captain. Actually, uh, hold on a second. Do you have a problem with that? Uh, not a problem exactly, but isn't Colony Gamma an Acnean colony? Not to worry. Our flame clock has been destroyed. We're in the same position as you. That means there's no chance of them causing you any harm, Maybach. There should be no issue. Mm, I understand your logic, but... You're an excellent assistant, but you're a little dependent on me sometimes. This would be a great chance to get you some worldly experience. Captain Alchandra! Okay, I understand. I'm not sure how much help I'll be, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much. We welcome you to our colony with open arms. Do your best, Maybach. Say hello to the little fledgling doctor for me. Yes, Captain. Maybach moving out. Sorry to keep you waiting, you saw her. We brought someone for you. Uni? What's going on? Uh, what do you mean? You brought someone for me. You said you wanted to be a military doctor, right? So I brought you one. N nice to meet you. Don't worry, Maybach is a friend of ours. There's nothing to be scared of. Uh, um, so what's going on? You said you hit a wall studying and learned to become a doctor, right? I can't help you, but this guy can. You can ask him anything you like. You really went out of your way for me. Thank you, Huni. Uh, you're the new recruit that wanted to become a doctor, right? Oh yes, my name is Yusora. Hello, Yusora. I'm Maybach. Nice to formally meet you. N nice to meet you too. Let's get started then. Is there anything you wanted to ask me? Yes, I'd like to know about medical approaches to treating different symptoms. Ah, yes, okay, that's a pretty broad topic depending on your progress so far. First, let's start with a case study. That uni's like, I'm out. Done my part. I'm gone. Looks like those two are gonna get along great. I imagine she'll be fine to leave in Maybach's hands. I just hope that her determination bears fruit. By the way, Uni, thank you once again for all of this. You took notice of Yusora's real goals and made every effort to help her. As Gamma Commander, I must thank you from the bottom of my heart. Nah, it's fine. She came up and asked me. How could I say no? I wanted to help. No, oh, actually, Maybach's the helpful one, not me. Well, you made the connections, though. That's the important bit. In this regard. Nice, that one done. Hey! That's a lot of XP. Alright, oh, maxed out there. Weird. Weird. Right, so let's check the um, area map here. Are we done in this area? Do we see a question mark around? Probably not. So we'll move on to the next area. And probably start with Colony 30, I think. Pooty Pooty has succumbed to whims on occasion, but we keep on board on account of very handy skill. Doric currently proceeding on track for Phase 6. Friends bring materials, then Repapa give them a speedy quick check. And hopefully I should have enough at this point, like... The amount of stuff I've done around the place, I should have loads. That's why I left it. Everything collected, Phase 6 officially finished. Oh no. Meh? Meh meh, what's wrong? Dorit not work. At the supply finish? Why it happened at a time like now? What's going on? Repapa need huge amount of ether to build Doric. But it looked like we not have enough ether. Construction of Doric not able to continue like this. It impossible. Oh no. Ah well. well. I'm assuming there's a quest that's popped up somewhere then. Like the way he was looking up here, it's like, is it up here? If not, then what? Aha! Huh. How long is it going to be until we solve the ether shortage? Well, user said the shortage would likely continue for the foreseeable future, so... 
You're joking, snuff my life. Here we go. It sounds pretty serious. It is. They're out of ether. How could it not be serious? Yeah, you can't always give a hundred percent. Yeah. That's what I said. Alright, we need Voldy for this. We should so. talk about this. How's Colony 30 been since last time? He's still short on ether. Yeah, you Zet and the others are really feeling it. Really feeling it. I wish there was a way I could help. Oh, am I hearing things? Never thought I'd see the day. Knowing you, I thought you'd only care because you couldn't build Levenesses. Your papa said the same thing. But, you know, I had a talk with a Sird about sharing some of his ether, so I can go pick it up. You talk to the commander. I wonder if I can get a little more out of the other colonies. If I do that, we could get back to work on Doric. How much do you need? Your papa mentioned, whoa, we'd need 2,500 ether cylinders. Yeah, we can't just go around and gather that. 2,500? Oof, I think that's something we can't really help out with. Hmm. And how about Colony 30 earns their ether from other colonies in exchange for some kind of service? Like when they lent Colony Lambda Levenesses. Good idea. Maybe we could send Colony 30 mechanics out on jobs. Their mechanics are highly rated. High enough to field a Levenes unit that can beat Silver Colonies. Oh, cool. I'd love to go meet Levenesses from other colonies. You're gonna go, Valdi? No way you Zet will let that happen. What? Don't you have a whole fleece of Nopons sitting around with nothing to do? Oh, that's right. They can help out. Who should I pick? I could ask for Papa. Got a bunch who owe you a pretty huge favor. Dinky Dinky, Widge Widge and Pooly Pooly. Nice, let's give them the good news. We got jobs for you lads. There's no ether. It's the exclamations that get me. Alright, so let's actually see about getting that quest in here. So, activate. Voldy's in. Right, there we go. Dinky dinky! We're looking for someone who can go and run maintenance on other colonies' levnesses. If it goes smoothly, you can get back to work finishing Doric. What do you reckon? Work on Doric? Of course, dinky dinky help. Wait for us uh, with her papa and we'll tell you more. Dink! Dinky dinky. Dinky dinky. Good day, Nopon. Not sure what your name is because it doesn't have anything above your head, so. Morning, guys. How you doing? Witch witch. We're looking for mechanics who can travel to other colonies. Would, where'd you come from? Would, would you like to help? You'd be doing Valdi a favor. Valdi? Witch witch. See, witch witch. Happy to help. Thank you. Could you wait for us at Rip Papa's place? <laughs> dinky dinky in which would you done done? Now it's just pooly pooly. This is Rip Papa. Rip Papa. <laughs> doom. Doom doo doo doom. See me me? Pooty pooty. We're looking for mechanics who'd be willing to go to other colonies. It really helped Voldy out. Pooty Pooty can go to Colony Iota too. Pooty Pooty do it. Good man. Wait for us at Rapapa's place, yeah? Meh meh. They're low on ether because of the work on Doric. That's such a Valdi thing to happen. Doesn't it make you a bit jealous? He pours so much of himself into doing what he loves. In short, we send a mechanic to other colony on temporary assignment. This is big time plan to get ether cylinders in return. First, we send advanced team to each colony to open negotiation in person. Oh, and that our job? That's right. This is a request for no other than Valdi, so which which accept role as negotiator. Oh, thanks. Mehem. Now we decide who go to which colony. First, dinky dinky. Dinky, 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 feels like a gamma. 
Colony Gamma it is. Dinky dinky do you proud. Next is Widgewidge. Oh, Widgewidge is clearly a Lambda. Lambda's a good colony. Widgewidge accept. At last, it's Pooly Pooly. Um, let's go with Mew. Off to Colony Mew are you. Not sent to Colony Iota? No. Nope, give our regards. Everything looked good. Good like everyone in. Now, where can we send you, Repapa? Meh? Repapa all, all go also? Are you not going? Meh. Your papa understand. Your papa happy to help out as chief. Papa will get 1,000 ether cylinder or, or 1 million. Oh. Alright then. Um, Agnes Castle will be a good shout. How about Agnes Castle? Leave it to your papa. Everyone leave when ready. Did the choices matter? So I hear that none of the Nopon we sent out have returned. Maybe negotiations aren't going too well? I'm a bit worried. I mean, they only just left, so... So I've been planning to check on them. And I've always wanted to see everyone else's levenesses, so... Two birds with one stone. Then let's get going. And that final offer. Look, I don't know what to tell you. Is there any chance you can summarize the situation? Hi on. I heard that Commander Isserd will support Colony 30's ether needs, but... But this Nopon here is asking for more. He won't listen. I hit you a big spanner, mate. Is adequate compensation for mounting of work which which will do? Which which determined to bring back plenty of ether for Valdi. It'll be doing me a favor, too. If you vouch for him, Tyon, then all right. I'll ready some more for you. Good. Did not have to hit with Big Spanner. Which which in debt of you? Just do a good job in this colony and we'll be square. I whacking good. Everyone worked very hard. Repopper announced numbers of so far. Here is numbers of collected ether cylinder. Dinky dinky bring cylinders precisely 100. Which which have 1,000. Well done, which which. Puli Puli possess 150. Repapa Hall, 1,000. So total number is... 2,250 cylinder. We're not quite a goal, so we have to go one more colony visit. Oh, very well. Now we decide who go to which colony. First Dinky Dinky, go do it again. Um, Colony Noun. Colony Noun. Colony Noun it is. Dinky 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 Proud. We, we get the idea. Next is Witch Witch. Colony Eleven. Eleven's a good colony. Witch Witch accept. And that's this Pooly Pooly. Uh, the city. We'll go with that. See what happens. After the city with you. Hang on. We're including the city in all this? Yep. Just, yep. Not sent to Colony Iota? No! Give our regards. Everything looked good. Good luck, everyone, and... Now, where can we send you, Rapapa? May Rapapa go also? Yeah, we know. Are you not going... Me -me? We know, we know, we know. We know. Uh, Colony 4. How about Colony 4? Give it to Rapapa. Everyone leave when ready. I assume it's, it's going to add to our total. Otherwise, that would feel weird. So I guess that would be... That for visiting other colonies? No, we should go too. You're just itching to gawk at Levenesses, aren't you? Alright, let's head off again. So they say, um, ergo, therefore, Repapa do very best to that is meh? Add point is, me busy too. Please not waste time. Meh, meh, meh. Repapa spotted. Valde. Well, this explained a lot. We also hear from Solon and people of Solon. I certainly wish to continue association with Colony 30, so may venture prove fruitful. Meh. 
Mimi? Rapapa not know what happened, but Rapapa very full of thank. Nice job, Rapapa. Thanks for your hard work. Now let's go home. Everyone worked very hard. Rapapa announced numbers so far. There's numbers of collected ether cylinder. Dinky Dinky Bring Cylinders, precisely 250. Which would you have 200? Puddy Puddy possess 400. Rapapa Hall, 100. So total number is... 3,200 cylinder. Target is reach! Have all we need to restore Colony 30. Furthermore, work now restart on Doric. Your papa announced good news to use it. Yes! Get in, mate. I knew there was something going on. Are you impressed? Look how hard your papa and the others worked. Meme, this should be enough, right? This make up for power needs of Colony 30. It's all gone great. And we gave everyone a little helping hand too. Valdi, Rapapa. You two are the ones probably misusing all the ether in the first place. Oh, you think? Oh, sorry. Give me strength. Anyway, if I'm being honest, you've already come through for us this time. Meh, today you said so open and honest. Not like, I leave. Today, construction of Doric restart. Thank you for helping in progress to phase seven. Yeah, cheers. That's another one done. All right, so obviously we're carrying on the Doric stuff. We're right here. That's one worry out of the way. <laughs> Knowing Valdi, he'll find a way to get up to some other mischief. Cool. Now he just needs the power to make peace. Let's roll. Power to make peace. What's he come up with this time? Rapapa pulling out every stop. No ether consumption too big. Doric currently proceeding on track for phase seven. Friends bring materials, then Rapapa give them speedy quick check. What was it they needed again? Job's done. Material all gamut. Phase 7 now completable. Much thanks. This where hard part begin. What? Rapapa urge friends take caution. Where? We'll leave again to keep all hands of friends. So the difficult part's just begun? Construction goes according to plan. Bit more no, no, wing no, grease than Doric all done. Doric currently proceeding on track to phase 8. Friends bring materials, then Rapapa give them speedy quick check. What are we giving all right. them? Yeah, we got that sorted. That's in the bag. Phase 9 is live combat test of Doric. Whoa. This historic moment, so you're allowed to observe with Valdi. Test can be seen at Terra Wastelands outside Colony 30. We wait for you. There we go. Doric is online. Over there, right there. I got a little tick on that one. That's cool. Um, yep, yeah, that's probably the closest thing as well. Although I could have gone through the tunnel. But I got a fast travel point, so we'll take it. Assuming I can drop down. You see the tunnel over there. How do I get up there? Not Is too sure. What Watch out, mate. Alright, let's see. Well, there we go. There he is. Get out of the way! There he is. Doric. Repapa! Whoa. It's amazing when you really look at it. Repapa show more big surprise things. Make a friend, start Doric. By your command. I'm gonna smash him good. Test is begin. Buddy blaster fire. Hmm. 
What the? Did it just attack those Levnesses? What Doric possess is not regular running the mill weapon. It's also a high frequency device to access auto lev control system. Small word version. Doric can make friends with Levnesses. You see, the way it works is by applying robot buddies data to interfere with the ether signaling. I'll just assume that's something clever. Correct! This laser was made with the intention of altering the ether signaling circuits of autolevs. But when they read our iris data, they saw us as allies. Changing the system means you can rewrite the aggression program. So if you take Mechafriend's signal, triple dot. Do you get it? He really doesn't. Just, just, just tell him it changes the friend or foe data to friend. Me? Um, hmm, I don't think it's gone in. It not seem usable in combat. Meh. It only work with one nearby Levness. Is distance problem or number of target? Have to research. So close. Doom. Doom do doom, doom. Well. Buddy Blaster Blunder. Is there not a way I can do that around here? Would be nice. Don't know why I went to that map, but that's fine. That's fine. Alright, so let's head for you. No, not you. No, no. There. No. There. Dear, oh dear. And it's wrecked. Can we maybe train? I suppose. Where'd these books come from? But he blessed a blunder. Let's catch up on stuff. So, Chief, how do you think we can improve the Buddy Blaster? That outside area of expertise, Oriku? Oh, if you can't help me, who can I ask? I guess a mechanic who knows a lot about this stuff? You could always bring it to Colony Lambda's engineering corps. Varen could probably give some useful insight. What about the people in the city? They've got a lot of technology we don't have. Maybe Mr. Salmon could help. The folks over at Colony Iota could be useful and all. Plus, the colony came up with the Collectopedia cards. Oh yeah, plenty of options then. Let's go and consult with some of those people then. Let's get on the road, Chief. Meh? Ah, I'm so excited to meet a great mechanic. Great, you say? Ah, you must be talking about Salazar. She said she was going to be in her lab for the foreseeable... She's too busy? Let's go and ask someone else then. Salmon C? You want to... Improve practically of buddy plaster thingamajig? Can you do it? Sam are not able to say without see real thing. Okay, I'll bring the buddy blaster here. It very large, Sam and assume, would be difficult to bring. But Sam and too busy for visit Colony 30. Boo. How about this? Sam and lend you friend of Sam. Shino? Can be help for you. Can find Shino in Estelle Harbor. Sam will send informations. Wait, you're... Ah, it's you. I heard the whole story from Salmon. So can you help me improve the Buddy Blaster? But of course. I haven't been able to do anything like this in ages. Should be a lot of fun. Going by what I heard, I'd say the problem is the structure of the weapon. The laser diffuses quite a bit. What if we concentrate the beam? If you have a Dowdry Armor Colonel and a Gloss Reactor, I can make some adjustments. Okay, I'll get those for you. I like the enthusiasm. I'll go ahead to Colony 30. Oof, I back. Are you okay? Doesn't getting older make it hard to move? Look at yourself. Aren't you a dear? My son's 11 is pilot, so don't worry, he'll drop me off. I'll see you all later then. There we go. She, she, you know who? She, she know? She know. L uh, look what we got for you. Thank you very much. Now you leave the rest of me. And 
and that's all nice and calibrated. Meme? Second test dot. Buddy Blaster. Fire! How did it go? Oh, it's success! Looks like the output is a bit stronger now. Quite a few places are glowing. There's just one little tweet left to do, Shino. Ah, yes. Let's swap out the buddy parts blaster parts. I'm really sorry, but could you get me a three-fold transistor and a bullet screen? Can do! Hey you guys, I need you to get that. Come on, lands. Yes, sir. I'm assuming we got it then. What are we giving them? Job done. Shino, we got the stuff. Oh, thank you. You leave the rest to me. And that should be that. Mimi. The test start. Buddy Blaster Fire. And by your command. Do you have to go around in a circle? Okay. This is overly elaborate for no reason. Are they doing a dance? It friend with Doric. How do you know that? That means it worked, right? Meme, big success. Yes, yes, we did it. Just a little more work and you'll be perfect, Doric. You'll be a big, strong, kind Levness to protect people. Thank you for all your help so far. Anytime. Now, Doric Construction move to phase 10. Only thing left is hard work of Rapapa and team for final adjustment. I'm quite invested now, dear, so I'd like to stay till the end if that's alright. That would be great. Rapapa, make finish in time and blink. Looking forward to it. No one blink. Ah, oh, damn it, I blinked. Yeah, have fun and good luck. Right. Doric is online. Well, with him online, let's go visit a Nopon in the forest. Do you live all alone out here in the forest? Jinjin go wherever wind blow, like strong dandelion fluffs. Where? Time for Jinjin to choose best tree shade to nap in by chasing brown butterfly. You are the brown butterfly? Well, it says the active quest, please. Always nice to have more friends. Wait, where did he go? Okay. Ha! Down he went. Uh, uh, Down he went again. Uh, uh, Where are you going, mate? It's just properly wandered off. Like, you could have seen where he was going, Noah, but no. Something so valuable here. Where, where'd he go? Oh. At least it wasn't a long trail. Water makes silence. No croak, no chirp, no one to touch. And time of gin gin to melt clean away. What does it mean? Perhaps she's giving us some sort of warning. Jin Jin walks so Jin Jin can hear voice of ground. What? Jin Jin, come back. Where Jin Jin go? Is Jinjin really going back up to the tree? No. Okay. Where have you gone, Jinjin? I take it back. I was saying it was like, at least it was quick. It was like, nope. Now we've got to go further. Okay. 
I'm like, Jin, Jin, where are you going? Where are you going? Morning sunrise and bed run away. Jin Jin chase dreams all the way to there and here and where. Uh, maybe this is her favorite place. Rain and dew make ants of blue. Ultramarine for precise hue. Jin Jin show the way. What? Don't get lyrical. Jin Jin, where the bloody hell are you going? Jin Jin. Treasure appropriated. You're very happy about the treasure. Ooh, an Aoife sphere. But, but Jin Jin's taking me this way. Wait, is that? Oh no, that's just two monsters. I ain't picked up any ether channels in ages. Jin Jin, not go any further. Any thoughts run ahead? Jin Jin want to avoid love raspberry stain spreading. Are you saying there's something dangerous up ahead? Soon it's time to give chairs of travelers back to Tartan Ladybird. Are you okay? Chin Chin Strikes. Where? Where are you going? What are you doing? Another noise. Something like laser pistols, stuff like that. Like something out of that dead franchise, you know the one Star Wars. Remember when Star Wars was good? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. We're really going all the way back, like, come on. Like, Jin Jin, what are you taking this? What are you doing? I want to get to Jin Jin at the end and Jin Jin be like, I, I can't believe you actually followed me. I was just messing about. Jin Jin feel tickled in chest when he hear words. Or Jin Jin have conversation with birds. Aren't you lonesome on your own, Jin Jin? You want us to take you to a colony or a caravan or something? Jinjin fine, Jinjin waiting for day when seven anvils ring. I doubt that's gonna happen. Only at then will Jinjin leave garden. I see, there's something you have to do. Oh, huh. Well, I guess we'll come back to see you someday. Well, I guess we'll do that in the future at some point then. So, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.